Hey guys, I'm Jason Grossclose with MFK Game Calls and this week we're going to give you all a bonus episode of MFK Web TV and we're going to cover fur handling. Um, on all of our other episodes we cover fur killing, that's what we do, that's what we do best, but um, the other part of that is putting up your fur and getting the most out of it. And we just wanted to show you guys uh, some of the techniques we use uh, to get the most money out of our fur. Um, fur prices are probably the highest they've been since the mid 80s. And you can actually make pretty good money uh, out of your fur without just having to toss them over the bank somewhere. I mean, put your fur up. I mean, even if it's a $10 coon, I mean, still, that's 10 bucks you didn't have. I mean, it'll buy half a box of shells. I mean, even these days, maybe a quarter box of shells. But anyways, I want to demonstrate this new uh, skinning machine I built. It's a horizontal skinning machine. I'm going to show you how this works. And it really makes quick work of these coons, uh, bobcats, coyotes, foxes, anything. And I tell you, I fell in love with it. Um, especially if you've got a lot of fur to handle and um, here at MFK we usually put up quite a bit of fur and this has been a real time saver and if nothing less a real back saver but I'll go ahead and start off and show you the cuts we do on this and a lot of the fur buyers uh, they call this the money cut it's what gets you the length on these coons coons are actually sold by the length of their fur once they're stretched. Uh, they'll only go from 25, 26 inches up to 38, 40 inch coon. I mean, that's a that's a monster coon. I mean, around here in Virginia, if you if you get a 34, 36, 37 inch coon, that's, that's a real nice coon. But um, I'm gonna show you this cut. You start right here at the back of the ankle and just zip your knife all the way over to right about two inches below the penis opening on a big boar coon. All right, go over the other leg, do the same thing. And when you pull these coons legs apart, it should, when you hold them straight out, it should make a straight line from one paw to the next, as this one did, as you see right here. Next, I'm gonna separate this fur from around his legs. Around his belly, come around, do the other side. Pretty much all I'm doing is separating that fur from the leg. Just make sure you have a sharp knife too. I mean, this is the, I think that's the key to putting up fur is having a sharp knife. I, I don't know how annoying it is to go try to skin something with a dull knife. It'll worry you to death. But. All right, I've got that fur pretty well separated. All I do is stick my thumb in there, work it out, pull, get right down to his foot bone, stick my knife through there, and cut all the way out to his toes. This fur right here is pretty well useless to a fur buyer. It doesn't have to be on there. All they're worried about is the fur from right here up, this flank fur. This is not useful, but I'm going to show you here in a second why we why I do that. Go to the other side, stick your thumb through, pull, go out, cut all the way down to his toes. Now we're going to move it over here, hang him up which a lot of guys don't do this. They'll just go ahead and finish everything out on the table. It'll probably save you maybe five, 10 seconds, but it's just easier for me to do this. Everything's right here, chest level working with it. And I don't know, it just, I, I got five seconds to spare just to make it easier, but. All right, you got right here, it is anus opening. Stick your knife in, slid up to that cut that you made across his belly. Go on the other side cut up then stick your knife right through and stick it about out the other side you can see right here and then cut all right done with the knife just a second start pulling pull his flanks down pull the other flank down get your knife again hold the tail firm get right here at the base of the tailbone make a couple slits all right we're good 
Now, work your finger underneath the tail. Pull his tail down. I'll get my fancy little tail puller here. I know when I was a kid, I used to use 20 penny nails. I've used sticks, everything, to try to get these coon tails pulled. And I fell and realized they actually made something to do this. And I'll tell you what, it saved a bunch of time, but they're like five, seven bucks at most trapping supply dealers. So I'd recommend picking up one of these, but put it right around the tail, pull his tail out. Then I get my tail zipper. What this does, you stick it in, zips his tail open. And what that does, it opens up that tail and allows it to dry properly when we stretch it on the boards. And I'll flip him around right before I take him over to the skinning machine and I'll cut that little membrane right there around the penis bone. So he's ready to go over. We'll take him down. Take him over here to the skinning machine. Hook him up. And now it's where that little patch of fur I was telling you about, I skinned off his foot. This is where this comes in play. I'll go ahead and fold that over double. And what that does, when I hook these vice grips up to this coon, it folds it over that hair that the spur buyers want. So you're not damaging that hair. You're not damaging that pelt. Everything's going to look good. I'll hook those vice grips up, clamp down, go to the other side, fold it over, do the same thing. Coon's ready to go. Take my gambrel, hook it right through the tendon on the other side, hook it through the tendon ready to skin this coon out. Um, we could actually be doing this faster. Uh, I'm trying to walk you guys through this at a pace where you can see what I'm doing. You can see how this thing works. Usually I could skin a coon like this in probably 45 seconds or less on this method. I'm going to show you how quick it is. So go ahead. We got him hooked up. Got him hooked up. All it is now is just pushing a button. We pulled him up to his legs. Pretty much all you gotta do, take your finger, punch through. You got a hole, pull his leg out, pull his leg out. And I like to cut these legs long. Uh, once you stretch them, they actually could be cut right here. But I like to cut mine right here, right around the ankle. I just ring it and pull one time. Cut one top, bottom, pull one time, and it'll jerk right off. The reason I do that is when I'm fleshing the coon, getting around this shoulder area and around this grisly area on his neck, you can put that leg over that fleshing board and it'll hold it good. And if you go ahead and cut it off short now, as you're pulling, as you're fleshing, it's gonna stretch that hole and you're gonna have real big leg holes on the pelt and it's just not gonna look as good as if you leave them long. After you get them on the board, what I'll do is I'll twist them a couple times and just whack them off. It just makes them look a little better. So you might as well try and get the top dollar out of the coons that you can. But we got him to here. I'm going to hit the winch just a couple more times. Get him down to his ears. I'll go ahead and cut in. But there's an ear. Right there's an ear. All right. We'll cut him down. All right. We'll get down to his eyes. And a little trick on his eyes, always kind of cut back at a 45 degree angle toward his face. That's the only thing that's gonna do is just give you small eye holes. Uh, it's probably not gonna make a whole lot of difference, but your whole fur appeal and the, uh, how you present it to the fur buyer, uh, if they see those small eye holes, small, small ear holes, they're gonna know you know what you're doing and they're gonna give you a little more for your fur. And that's, that's kind of why we're all out here getting the most we can. So pull him a little more, whack his nose. That coon's done. Let's go unhook him. And it's kind of a little dirty little coon right here. He fell in the creek after I shot him. So I had to dig him out, kind of got muddy, but there's a coon and you look over here, We've already did already did a couple more. We got some got some pretty nice coons already. Uh, this one right here, that's 
that's a real nice coon. And we're actually getting ready to skin out a couple bobcats and a coyote. So it was a good night. We we had a real good night here at MFK, and we're gonna put this skinning machine to work. And um, guys, hopefully you'll take advantage of this. I mean, uh, there's a lot more than just going out there and killing an animal. I mean, it's putting up its fur. And the good thing about it is you can make you can make some good money at it if you kill a lot of stuff and do it properly. Do your research. Um, it's not hard. There's a lot of a lot of videos on YouTube about putting up fur. Uh, I'm no expert by any means, but you know I, I try to learn and try to get the most out of my fur I can, and that's that's all we can do. But I hope this helps you guys, and I hope the horizontal skinning machine. Uh, Gives you guys some ideas. It really saves my back, especially if I have a lot of fur to do. I mean, there's been some nights that do 10, 15, 20 coons or some coyotes and stuff like that. It really, it really saves your back. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of MFK Web TV.